What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, Earthmaster here. Jumping in on the live stream here with an update video real quick on some seismic activity uh, happening well south of Africa, down here in uh, this section of the world. Watching a uh, moderate uh, swarm of activity, a couple fives and just now an upper 4.0 earthquake uh, striking out here uh, well south of South Africa region, uh, right along the... Uh, Ooh, what do we got out there? Bovet Island or Bovet Island area um, out there in that little South Indian Ridge, Southwest Indian Ridge, uh, Antarctica Plate area. This region uh, definitely capable of producing some uh, sizable quakes. We'll go ahead and check out the latest information here on the USGS map here. Uh, you can see those three earthquakes uh, within eh, within about a few hours of each other about three or four hours uh, of each other here today uh, seismically uh, active for sure as we look over the last seven days or so within this region there wasn't much going on so all this activity happening today uh, which leads me to believe that we could be potentially looking at a, a much larger uh, magnitude quake in this region uh, seismically uh, over the globe the rest of the plates here looks pretty uh, uh looks like an average day out here I do want to show you guys the uh, activity map here over the last uh, 100 and something years or so, 120 years, uh, as far back as the USGS uh, keeps records for the most part. I'm not talking about ancient quakes, uh, just recent times, uh, back to about uh, 1900 or so. We're looking at this region here. Um, this is 6.0 and above, okay, 6.0 and above. If you look on this map, you got South Africa up here. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up this uh, same map. Uh, zoom in right here. You can see the activity, the general activity taking place today in this little area here. This little uh, fracture out there in the plates in, in the plate system here. If you look on the map historically, we haven't seen anything 6.0 and above in this region. So it's possible, very possible, that we could be possibly filling in that gap of uh, earthquake activity. Yes, there has been smaller stuff here, but nothing above. 6.0 in this region over the last 121 years or so uh, as you can see there on the map it's right smack dab right there you got the three points here a smaller point uh, three points here a smaller point uh, it's just uh, most of the activity has been west and east of the area that we're watching today and looking at some of these uh, magnitudes here there was a 7.0 we need to zoom in a little bit closer here uh, to look at some of the magnitudes within this fracture area uh, the uh, Antarctic plate uh, most of them ranging around six to uh, possibly lower seven magnitudes as you get further to the west. Uh, the dynamics may be under a little bit more strain as you get into this area of the plate system. Uh, but definitely 6.0s are possible. Uh, there was that eight pointer south, uh, south of Africa back in 1942. Significant size quake in this region, uh, 1942. And just to the east, of, of the area where we're seeing activity today a couple hundred miles a couple hundred miles uh, to the east there so this region very capable of seeing some significant size magnitudes uh, lots of sixes and as I mentioned there that eight pointer back in 1942 uh, no eight pointer today just a couple fives and a fours folks but whenever we see movement like this I always like to get the word out uh, that we could be potentially looking at uh, some significant further movement here considering we have not uh, this isn't a common thing we just don't see a bunch of fives and fours down here kicking off uh, in this section of the plate there the Antarctica plate uh, it's just it's something you something you gotta got kind of look at and decide uh, you know should we should we maybe watch this area yes absolutely definitely watch this area for some pit, potential larger movement uh, we're seeing that uh, back to back uh, earthquake activity up here in the Peru Chile Trench as well folks uh, some further movement in that region uh, we'll cover that a little bit later on in the update update video tonight but just wanted to get the word out there on the movement uh, south of Africa south South Africa up here southwest Indi Indian Ridge if I can pit it, spit it out good lord <laughs> uh, it's just one of those things somebody said I need what well, I read a comment somebody said I need to Stop eating potatoes and rice or something to, to, to get rid of my cough. I don't really have a cough today. It's just my 
my my oh what's the word my motor skills you know that certain energy drink out there is supposed to give you uh you know your energy skills and it's just not working today i should probably drink another one who knows uh anyway yeah, be on guard, folks, watching this area for some potential uh, movement. Uh, anyway, have a good day out there. Hope everyone's enjoying uh, this beautiful, absolutely beautiful Tuesday evening or Tuesday afternoon. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on the update video on this channel.